I know I sound tired right now. It's about 4.30 a.m. I haven't had much of a chance to sleep, but anyway, let's discuss Gen 1 and Gen 7 transfer since I've been asked about it by a few people. The video there is just everything I got via TAS that is shiny in Gen 7. Just, you know, evolving everything. God, that took, you know, like a week to get just right. But anyway, first, Gen 2 introduced the shiny mechanics. You had a 1 in 8,192 chance of getting a shiny Pokemon. And that's because the Defense DV, Special DV, and Speed DV had to be 10 for that. The Attack DV had to be one of 8 values. Now, they go from 0 to 15, and that's 4 of them. So that's six, five, five, three, six values. Of those, eight can give you a shiny. And if you simplify that, you get one in 8,192. And those are the shiny odds that we're used to these days. Of course, uh, Gen 6 made it a bit easier to get, but that's a story for another day. So, the first gen to seventh gen changed the formula a bit. I think that was a mistake on Nintendo's part, but now the variable is the defense DV while the attack is the set DV. Why did they do that? I honestly have no idea. That required me to redo a bunch of things that I have. Um, I'm sure some of you saw my previous video where I showed everything I did task over the last year. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna stay stuck at second gen indefinitely. And as you can see, I'm just evolving everything. I'm doing this post commentary. Figured it would be a nice B roll. Um, let's see what next. Nature. Yeah, let's talk about nature. So, the game uses something called a personality value, PID, and that determines if a Pokemon will be male or female, if it will be shiny in later games, and that kind of thing. It is worth noting that because Gen 1 doesn't have such a value, it instead uses the EXP bar of all things. Yes, you heard me right, the EXP bar. I don't even, man. I don't even. I made a script for that, which should be converted into something for NTR CFW soon, which you guys can be using for proof of soft reset, if that's what you're into. So, how it works is... Usually, you take the PID and you module that by 25 you'll get a value between 0 and 24, and that corresponds to the nature of your choice. But now, take the EXP bar, and then module that by 25. That will give you the nature when you do transfer over. You cannot determine the gender, or the IVs, because those are generated at transfer time. And honestly, it's not that big a deal, because you can just bottle cap God knows I'm gonna need a lot of those, but uh, unless you wanna go for Trick Room or Hidden Power or Zero Attack or something, you're really fine. And you can work around that if you clone 20 of that Pokemon or 30 if you're in the Japanese version because Japan got more boxes. And from there, just transfer a bunch of them, quote unquote, soft reset each time. You have theoretically unlimited chances if you clone, really. Uh, let's see. Let's explain module because I get asked by a lot of people how that works. You take a number and you divide, right? For example, 3 divided by 2, that's 1.5. Now let's take 3 module 2. The answer is we divide 3 by 2 once. 
because that's three and two. And then you have a remainder that's a module of one. So you compare that against the nature values and that's what you're gonna get. Now, there are a few spots and I spoke to um, Crystal who is, he's amazing, great RNG uh, researcher. He was the one who proved what can and cannot be shiny, which I'll be going over in a moment. But what matters is he told me if you level grind against a PG with the EXP all activated in Gen 1 while the PG is at a low level, you will get exactly 1 EXP spread across a party of 6. And that's what you're looking for here. You want something that when the remainder is 1, when divided by 25, that gives you the most precision, the best precision when it comes to changing the nature. Another example which I found is Venonat. Uh, in yellow, don't remember the level off the top of my head because it's 4 a.m. But it gives you 126 exp. Now, divide that by 25. Take the remainder. What is the remainder here? It's one. Exactly. Remainder of one is absolutely beautiful. It allows for so much better manipulation. I could go on about it all day, really. And God knows I will. Look at all these Pokemon. I'm going to need a lot of it. So the next thing to discuss is shininess. What can and cannot be legal in first gen for shiny in gen 7 or even second gen. I'm not going to go into the full mechanical details because Crystal did that in, what, 20 minutes? I'll leave that to him. The TLDR is... Standard wild encounters cannot ever be shiny. It pains me to say that, but it is what it is. The game's RNG is not perfect and it will never generate those. So if you're walking around, you will never run into a shiny for 2nd gen or 7th gen. You must go through all the other alternative methods and I'm going to list them out for you here. You have your starter, that includes the Pikachu in yellow. You have gifts like fossils. Yeah, let's go with fossils as the first example here. The next example would be in-game trades. And it is worth noting that some of those are exclusive to the Japanese version of Pokemon Blue. That's right. Uh, what we call Pokemon Blue has the same mechanics as the Japanese version of Pokemon Green. And their Pokemon Blue is something else entirely. Different game corner prizes, different in-game trades. That's the only theoretical way of getting a legitimate shiny without ACE or other glitches. Uh, for example, Tauros or Gengar. Those two notables there. So yeah, in-game trades, stationary encounters, legendaries like Mewtwo, um, Snorlax, Moltres, Zapdos... And yeah, you can see here that I also have a few fishing Pokemon that I have evolved or am evolving. <sighs> it's so silly of me that I supplied myself with all those items, but I forgot the water stone. But yeah, this is a cursory explanation of what's been happening with this mess of the first gen. I have spent some time since Bank came out trying to figure the hell out of what's going on and Oh, I actually think I did. I got some progress on this. Please let me know if I miss anything by IRC, Twitter, Discord, on the comments section, really whatever. I can be reached. Reach me. But yeah, thank you for watching.